Hello there, you guys. Crystal here. How's it going today? So, I'm uh, a little bit earlier compared to how I've been having to record for the last few, uh, I guess two weeks. Oh my goodness, I need to empty my letters. <laughs> um, anyway, how are you guys doing today? Uh, I think we're gonna have to put a good number of these in the post office, unfortunately. I mean, you know, fortunately, it doesn't really matter, but more so, we're gonna have to go up there and do that. Um, yeah, this one, this one, and this one. Wait, what's this one? Yes, no, I wanna keep that one. Uh, let's see here. To Harsh Crystal, thanks for coming over the other day. Being pity is a new and unpleasant feeling, but at least now I know how far I have to go. Here's my thank you for that, from the lovable Robin. I said your house was nice, alright? I don't know where she's coming up with this stuff. <clears throat> um, okay, a barber's pole. Cool. Still don't know what to do with this. Um, but I guess we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, okay. How much- how many more letters do I have here? Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Uh, hey Crystal, I was out walking by the sea the other day and I stopped to watch the waves. Before I knew it, the sun had set. It's so not like me, right? What's happening to me from terrified Pashmina? Uh, from Mom, dear sweet Crystal, your dad actually helped me with the housework today. If only it could always be like this. It's Mother's Day from Mom. So yeah, it is Mother's Day. At least, you know, where I am. If you're in a different part of the world, it probably already passed. So for Mother's Day, we get pink carnations. I believe for Father's Day, we get red and then you can get white by breeding them together, I believe? It's either white or red. I'm pretty sure it's red. Uh, so I'm gonna keep that safe in storage because, like, you know, you only get one per year of the pink ones, one per year of the red ones. Um, and then next year, like, you know, uh, you could breed them together to get more of that color, etc. But, uh, but yeah. And then from the campground, hi Crystal, here's the modern office chair you ordered back in the campground. We appreciate your business, sister. Peace. All right. So that I did purchase uh, yesterday during stream. If you guys missed it, I have uploaded that entire stream to YouTube. It was very short because I was not feeling well, and if you could not tell already, I am still really, really congested and not feeling well and just bleh. <laughs> um, hi Marshall, you're moving in two days, buddy. Don't you dare ping me now. He was pinging me during stream yesterday, like, so much. It was crazy. Uh, so anyway reason why I wanted to uh, it's not stream sorry film this early today was because it's Sunday and uh, Joan is in town meaning that we can buy turnips together which I don't think have I done that with you guys yet I can't remember um, either way you know I need to do it um, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for me to keep track of prices considering I'm not able to play in the mornings anymore during the weekdays um, so we'll see, hopefully, you know, hopefully I'm not about to waste all my money, but you never know. Okay, perfect. And then we also have a letter for Bob that I wrote yesterday during stream and completely forgot to send. Okay, one more thing. I want to send mail. Uh, a person in Rose Wolf. And there you go. Okay, perfect. So, fingers crossed Bob actually wants to wear that shirt this time. Once again, I'm sending him that purple... I think it's like called a grape stripe shirt or something like that. It's a purple striped shirt, and I think it would look really cute on him. It would make him look like a Cheshire cat, which, you know, is awesome, so... But anyways, uh, let's do our dailies, and while we're wandering around, we'll see if we can find Joan. I'm really, really hoping that her prices are pretty low this week. Uh, you might be too shy to say thanks, Mom, on a regular day, but make sure you tell her today. She'll greatly appreciate it. Alright. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you guys have never actually played the stock market, maybe you never really were that interested, maybe you don't really know how to play, it's very, very simple in this game, obviously. Um, essentially the whole thing is Joan will come into your town on a Sunday morning only, I think it's from like 6am until like 12pm, after which point she will, like, you know, just completely disappear. Um, and, uh, oopsie. And, uh, 
The whole idea is you want to purchase these turnips from her at a low price and then check retail's prices twice a day, morning and evening, or morning and afternoon, whichever, um, to see if they're selling or buying them for a higher price than what you sold at, because then you earn a profit, right? Pretty simple. Um, it just takes a little bit of dedication in terms of, A, not time traveling, because that, that can mess up your turnips. There are ways to, like, you know, avoid rotting them, which is essentially what happens. Uh, I personally don't time travel, so I don't really have to worry about that. Um, and then B, you also have to have the dedication to play every single day, or at least, you, you know, at least a little bit, um, just to check prices and make sure that it's selling at a certain price. There are also trends to it. I have a whole entire video on it somewhere on my channel, but, um, the trends, uh, do fluctuate and change every week, so you can kind of almost track what kind of prices you're gonna get if you keep an eye on them day after day, but... As I just said, I'm going to be missing out on mornings every day this week, so mine might be a little bit difficult to keep track of. Hello there! Can I interest you in a coat hanger? Mine was an impulse buy and I'm not really using it. I hate to see it sitting there untouched. So I've decided to try selling it. Would you buy it for me for... yeah, sure, okay. I don't mind. I don't know if it'll look good in my house, but I'll buy it anyway. Nice doing business with you. Alright. Um, how about we just talk to her normally as well? Uh, I'm bored. I actually came over to my house the other day and forgot something. Would you mind giving it to him for me? I'm sure he's worried about losing it. Sure. Please don't let this be a ploy to get him to stay in Rosewolf. Okay, so we'll we'll deliver that to Marshall on our way. I forget we we saw him just earlier, but I forgot exactly where he was. <laughs> That's kind of awkward. Um let's see here. Fossils? Anything? Maybe no. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's anything over here. Um I feel like Marshall was on this upper half of land, but I'm not sure, so I'll just continue on my way and I hope to, like, you know, I just hope that Animal Crossing, uh, gods that will find him. Um, that was a ladybug, which I've already caught, so I don't need to worry about it. Um, let's see here, whoopsie. Uh, do, do, do fossils? No? Oh, there you are. Hello there. Oh, well, hello there. I've been selling turnips here on Sunday mornings for about 60 years now. Maybe even more. Come to think of it, I forget just how long. No matter if her turnips come see old Sao Joan. I brought a bushel of ripe, fresh turnips today. Asking price is 92 bells. That's actually pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. Pretty much if it ever goes over 100 bells, I'm kind of iffy on purchasing them. Um, so we'll come back later and we'll have enough money on us. Um, usually I like to buy around 5,000 to 6,000 of them just to fill up my, uh, one, I guess, storage space in my, uh, what, what is it again? What do I have? Wardrobe, I think? I know I started off with a fridge and that was kind of funny. Um, anyway, let's go say hello to O'Hare. No, oh, it's a little bit too early for our little guy. You must have been really tired to fall asleep while standing up. If you didn't wake me, I would have gone back to sleep again. Thank you. Alright, what's up, dude? Well, I see you have a barber's pole, so I want to be the owner. Or I so want to be the owner. Can we do a trade? How about my wallet chain poem? I just wrote it. Wait, no, it's not good enough yet. How about I give you my lab bench? Um, sure. Are you gonna put this in your house somewhere, dude? Wait. Did I give him two of the same butterfly? I just noticed. Did... Are those the same? I'm pretty sure that was me. Why did I do that? 
Okay, so new life mission. Whenever he asks for a bug, we're just gonna give him... I think those are the peacock butterflies. So that's all he's getting from now on. Okay. So Robin is not home. Or if she's asleep, not sure. It is only uh, 9 p.m. There's Marshall. Don't you dare ask to not move. Uh, delivery here for you. There you are, buddy. Something I forgot? Do you really think I forget things? Oh, my bubble tea. <laughs> bubble tea. <laughs> I thought if I ever lost something, I'd never see it again, but I was wrong. Thank you. You really saved me. I suppose that would make you a lifesaver, wouldn't it? No, no, wear it. It'd be so cute. Take this as a return gift to you? I mean, that's for you and you alone. Oh, are you just giving it back to me? Okay, good. Not giving it back to me. Oh, that's so strange when villagers do that. It makes me uncomfortable. Um, okay, so Peshmina's not in or is asleep. Gaston is not in or asleep. We've only found one fossil. <laughs> Uh, I'm not good at this. Or at least it feels like I'm not. I, c I was complaining about that the other day and then I found all of them like right away, so maybe I shouldn't say anything. Uh, is that worth getting? Eh, I think it'll fall right here if I smack it, so. Unless I was gonna do this. Yeah, there we go. Usually I don't like messing around with my flowers, but that was. A pretty easy one. Um, in my other town I have much more intricate designs so it's kind of annoying to do that. Balloon TV. Okay, let's see what they're buying today. Uh, a perfect apple! Alright, so... Oh, I can't remember who has perfect apples. Maybe I should tell Irvin about that. He might want to uh, sell some of his, make some big bells. Let's see here, nothing. I'm gonna get comments. I can already tell. I'm gonna have comments being like, Crystal, you missed it in X, Y, and Z location. And I'm gonna be like, oh, now I feel bad. Um, okay, there's a ruby. Oh yeah, this is a thing. Um, so the other night, I think it was Friday, Last time I recorded Forest, one of my mods dropped off this awesome outfit. I love it. I love it a lot. Um, I know you guys were complimenting it during the stream yesterday, so thank you very much. Um, Forest also kind of inadvertently dropped off a Void Villager. Uh, so this is Celia, and uh, she is not staying because she is right where my park is going to go. I'm surprised they let her move so close. To this pond right here. Look at that spacing. <laughs> um, yeah, um, if you guys are interested, I've already actually promised her to one of my mods, Arcanist, who has a bird town. We call it a burb town. Uh, she's a really nice bird. That's the issue. I would love to have her. We're wearing matching shirts. We, we match. Oh my god, now I feel worse. <laughs> I really like her. I would not mind having her in Rosewolf. It's just that she moved into like such a weird location. I'm assuming um, what happened is that uh, I probably left an open space here when I was pulling down my paths to like, you know, keep villagers from moving into bad places. Or she couldn't find another open space because I may have blocked them off. I don't remember. Anyway, um... I feel really bad now. She's like my soulmate who I didn't know I had. Oh, do you live around here? I'm silly and I'm new to town. I used to live in... I'm not going to be able to pronounce this name. Mer you know what? I'm not even going to say it. I think Forrest will get mad if I mispronounce it. I need to change of pace. I thought I'd start over somewhere new. I hope we become friends. Oh, I'm sorry, but you're not staying long. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of a shock during the stream yesterday to be wandering around looking for fossils, doing dailies, and all of a sudden to find a house plot right there. I guess I just forgot to put one in. Either way, 
she's here now. <laughs> We're just gonna have to deal with her for a little bit. Um, alright, well actually there's all four fossils, that's good. Very good. Um, what did I do? No clue what I did, but I did something. <laughs> um, okay, so probably nothing up here worth noting. No, you know what? Look at this. She could have moved in here or here. And I know that this is enough space for the house because Bob is in the exact same type of spot with just a space behind his before it reaches the river. Huh. I don't know. That's really weird. It just seems so random. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that spot, I guess. Um, so pretty much we either have the option of, uh choosing an amiibo villager to move in and replace Celia with because we're at 10 villagers now or we could uh let her move out naturally which like you know that could take a while so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to say hello there uh what's the latest dude oh right it's another day of working hard to maintain the peace in this town He's like our replacement Booker or Copper. <laughs> um, so, uh, as I was saying, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the option of would you like her to move out naturally or would you like me to use an amiibo? And if you guys say, if there's like an overwhelming response of amiibo, I'm going to look at all the amiibo cards I own and maybe make a list of maybe like three, three villagers that I would be okay with moving in, and then I'll present it to you guys, you guys can choose. We'll do a little poll type thing. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. But, uh, but yeah, it's all up to you guys. Okay. Yep, I know that you have them all. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. So, uh, let's put this cardiation away because I don't want to forget and accidentally sell it because that would be really bad. Um, and then let's sell off all this other stuff we have in our inventory. Go to the go to the bank, I guess. Take out however many bells we're going to need to buy, I guess, 6,000 turnips. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go from there. Okay. Uh, so, this is gonna be the empty six or six thousand, depending on how you count, uh, slots. That's gonna be where that's gonna go. And I'm gonna go sell everything else, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's anything in there that I actually wanted. And maybe put away the shuttle, because <laughs> we don't need it right now. Oh gosh. There we go, that feels a bit better. Oh! Bob is at his house, we haven't spoken- Wait, did we speak to him today? I can't remember. No, I'm suddenly second guessing myself. Did we talk to him just from the very start? No, we didn't, because he's still asleep. Good morning, Crystal. Sleeping in is so sweet, like sweeter than apple cob apple cobbler. Don't worry, I might be messy, but okay, dude, you said that like last time. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this little guy. Just dancing it up, though. <laughs> Oh, I just remembered, we gave Bob that barber pole in his house, and now O'Hare is gonna have a barber pole. Why don't we just give all of our villagers barber poles? <laughs> New mission in Rosewa. Just all hailed a barber pole. <laughs> um, what? Wait, what? What? Why is there music on? I've never- what? I didn't know you could do that! I didn't know villagers would sell music! 
Yes, I'll take it. I don't even know what the song is. I don't remember what it sounds like, but... That's crazy. Didn't know that. Cool. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I want that. <laughs> don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. No. No. And no. Okay, good. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so. Um, let's go put this office chair down the stairs. Our, our uh, recording basement is actually slowly coming together. I'm really happy with it. If you guys uh, didn't see the stream yesterday, I did end up getting those three tables uh, that I purchased, I think, on Friday in the mail. So that's pretty awesome. Really, though, I don't really know what to do with... Walling and, and floor paper. Walling and floor paper. Guys, walling and floor- why is this a thing? Um, cause like, I don't know if this is the floor I want to stay. I know that I want the walls to be something dark. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Anyway, let's put this chair right here. There we go. I like that. I think it's cool looking. Uh, and you know what? We're just gonna put that on the wall. Okay, um, let's see here. I'm gonna put down all my tools right here. It's gonna be a bit messy, but, um, it's more so so that I have full pocket space to buy turnips. And carry all the monies. That's not a peacock butterfly, is it? What is that? Oh, I, I just tried to take out my net and I just remembered I put everything down. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Crystal is tired. Um, so they were selling for 92 bells each. I'm gonna take out... <clears throat> I'm gonna take out around 600,000, I think? I'm gonna have bells left over, but that's okay because I wanted to pay off that, uh street lamp that we put down during the stream yesterday as well. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> you are not the, you're not the, uh, the ATM. Uh, okay, so I want to withdraw. Oh my goodness, all my money's... Actually, you know what? I think I'm taking out Far too much, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, so as long as I have, uh, I do perfect. As long as I have ten spaces left to carry turnips, because that's usually how much I buy at a time is a thousand. Uh, then uh, we're all good to go. Okay, so hopefully Joan hasn't moved too far. I think a couple weeks ago I was really lucky and she was just kind of standing outside my house. So I just ran out, bought some turnips, ran in, put them into my storage, ran back out. But uh, it seems she's a little bit farther away today. I'm buying. Okay, so I want 1,000. Yep. Alright, and as you guys can see, that's pretty much all I can carry. Um, I also buy them in thousands as well, just so that I can keep track of how many I've purchased. It's just easier for me that way. Oh man, he isn't actually pinging me anymore. Maybe he's decided that he really does want to move. <laughs> Alright, and then we're just going to put it all away in this drawer, which I've like pretty much designated as turnip holding drawer or cabinet, or wardrobe, or whatever it is. Okay. So I hope you guys actually enjoyed last episode. I know um, myself and obviously Mike was the one as other Crystal. We had a lot of fun filming it. We were 
It was very hard to keep a straight face while filming that. <laughs> Just to see, like, um, essentially my other character dancing around in the background behind me while I tried to be oblivious. Which, by the way, I'm a little bit sad that my, uh, my sarcasm was lost on a few people. <laughs> I found it funny. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a couple people have mentioned that they really did. Um, I didn't really have anything else to do that night other than, like, dailies, and I do that stuff a lot, so I didn't know, like, you know, what else to spice it up, and I think Mike and I came up with that, and it was just funny. <laughs> Okay. So there's 2,000 out of 6,000. Um, on another note though, you guys, I will be streaming this evening. I am feeling terrible and sick, so hopefully I'll be able to pull that off. I really do enjoy streaming with you guys. Um, most likely I'll just be playing Pokemon um, Sun and I'll be shiny hunting for I think Dratini is the shiny I want to go for next and that one's uh, it takes a very long time to hatch the eggs so I'm hoping that uh, you guys' shiny luck will help me out once again because I have had ridiculous shiny luck on stream with you guys like absolutely ridiculous it's nowhere close to what my shiny luck is off stream it's like I don't know how the game knows oh hi Robin um if I talk to her, she isn't going to try and steal a turn up or two, right? So I feel like coming over to my- or so I feel like coming over to my place for a chat later today, not now. Oh gosh. Why do you always ask? Sure, but that's not for another hour. Gosh darn it, I hate that question. <laughs> or that- not even quest, just favor, I guess. I really hate it. Do you have fl Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to clean him off before I send him to one of your guys' towns. Which, by the way, the raffle for Marshall is still open. I will be, uh, doing that on... I think it's Tuesday the 16th? Um, although it will be later on in the evening, so you have to be available after around 6 p.m. EST just because uh, that's when I get home from work. I can't do it any sooner, so. Oh my gosh, there's a mantis walking around on Bob's flowers. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. He's barely taller than the flower. Robin, there you are. Just a couple more and then we're done. Now, question, because I can't remember and I may have actually done this before and I just don't remember. I'm going to finish paying this off today. Can I logistically have another... Uh, public works project going. I'm gonna say no because he needs to be in it and I don't think there can be two of I think his name is Lloyd uh, so I'm, I'm actually gonna answer my own question and say probably not <laughs> I was gonna put down the other street lamp there I had actually a viewer suggest to put two street lamps in that little area because it would make like almost like a gateway to town I thought it was adorable so I decided to do it Okay, so two more and then we're done. This does take a little while, but that's totally fine. So, question of the day. Uh, do you guys play the stock market in this game? Do you guys enjoy it? Do you guys maybe not enjoy it and how come? Um, obviously I enjoy it. I didn't understand it as a kid when I was playing um, Animal Crossing on the GameCube and the older uh, games. I really just... It kind of went over my head the whole idea of buy low, sell high, and I didn't know what to do with the turnips either, so it's- I don't even remember. I think I just let them, uh, 
Actually, you know, I might have eaten them. I don't really remember. <laughs> but uh, I didn't really understand the concept. And uh, I never actually really got into the stock market until, uh, I want to say maybe a year or two ago. And I've been playing New Leaf since launch, pretty much. So it was quite a while of playing before I really got into this. Alright, one more and then we are done filling up our storage space. Technically, with all that money I have in our bank account right now, I could buy more turnips, but like, I'm a little bit tentative on doing that when I have such a hectic schedule already and I won't be able to keep track of my own prices and like, I might miss someone's really good price um, if I'm not online and... Yeah. Okay, 1,000. There we go. Yeah, I took out a little bit too much money, but that's okay. We're gonna drop some of it right here. And I'll cooperate. Uh, three, eight, six, two, one. Awesome! Robin looks like she could not care less. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's so cute. I love that tail. Okay. So, let's put this stuff away. Alrighty then you guys, I think I'm gonna have to end this episode here looking at the time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will hopefully be back tomorrow, we'll see how that goes. Uh, and we'll check our turret prices etc then. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.